actually had one of these. What the? Yeah. Actually, I had That's this. That's a straight vodka. She said to me, <laughs> vodka. She said vodka <laughs> and soda water. I said vodka soda, and she went vodka solo. I went soda, but maybe she got it wrong. That's a vodka solo. It's quite pungent. It's <laughs> just that kind of yeah. I have to just drink them like this. Cheers, mate. <laughs> I should have got your straws. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're getting sidetracked. How are you? Yeah, I'm alright. I love that we've just put this in there. We've just walked into a random bar, yeah. walked upstairs, we're in Sydney, we walked into a random bar, walked upstairs, set a camera up. And move their furniture we'll see, to do it. Move their furniture and we'll just see how this goes. And not even... If we do get an argument, yeah. well, we have to leave it in. Yeah, leave it in. And also move the furniture, not even, like, politely. I just shoved it in the middle of their walkway, but... Is, nice. is that nice for them? Okay. How is, uh, how's the hat slash arm? No, it's good. Um, back to punching today. I was hitting the bag today. Uh, been lifting weights, grappling, I'm back in the gym, like morning and the afternoon, so it's um, yeah. Are we getting itchy yet? Yep, yep, yep. This is definitely like sitting cage side and, and being like that close to it, I actually hate it. Like, I want to just, I would much rather be having the fight. Yeah. Than... Is it is it also <laughs> extra worse because it's like down here and it's all the CKB guys and it's like everything? Oh, like already jealous. Like, yeah. You go along and they're training and you're just like, oh, like. Yeah, <laughs> you just get like jealous of what everyone's doing. It's, um, yeah, itching, itching, itching. I'd like to fight before the end of the year, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sick of breaking the sand. You broke it two months ago. Well, the, so the, yeah, the surgery was uh, in surgery eight eight weeks ago. Yeah. And so it's already be back, already be back punching after and then amount of time. Is like that's yeah. Like it's gone about as good as it can go, like in terms of recovery and yeah. stuff like that. I've just been looking after my body. Yeah, you're living like a, a, a Buddhist priest, <laughs> priest now, yeah. eating right, saying my prayers, doing my vitamins, all that good stuff. Been there, done that. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't help. I'm actually on a bit of a health. <laughs> I'm on a bit of a health kick now as well. Oh yeah, I'm nice. trying. I've been running. I've, yeah. You know, after last night, someone told me like you should always work out after a night out. Yeah. I got up. I went on the running machine, I ran for a whole five minutes before I said, I'm going back to bed. Nice. But that's, the effort is what counts. I always try run, but then I always think I learn how to fight because I don't like running away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm, I'm very, my dimensions are not good for running. Like, I'm, I've got very little legs. I got into like, like, not like long distance or anything like that, like crazy or anything, but it's so hard on your body, like running. Yeah. I was doing like like 10Ks like every two or three days and you're just, well I was doing it when I was in the quarantine. Oh yeah. I was in the quarantine There's hotel. nothing else to do. I would go down, I would wake up in the morning and then that's the first thing, coffee and then go straight down and then just run 10Ks around the car park. Like yeah. Just in, just in the loop, 10Ks every yeah. day. And like by the time I left there, my knees were, this <laughs> my knees were aching and because uh, you can only run in the quarantine you can only run one direction <laughs> like so oh they actually said it like these are the hours first, first person there sets the direction of which way around the car park you can run so if you weren't there first like and this other guy kept beating me like four days in a row this other guy was beating me there so I run 40 k's turning left so like, like NASCAR. just my right leg was shot, you know? So I was like, I'm gonna beat this guy up. I'm gonna, I started, I set my alarm for like 4.30 a.m. Yeah. I was down there by five and I was like, we're going, we're going right, yeah. we're going right. I guess you couldn't yeah. even really speak to each other either because they must have had the fucking social distance and stuff what like that. What are you gonna say? Hey. Change I'm a professional direction. fighter, go the other way, my leg hurts. Change direction, you knob. Yeah, well. No, but I, I'm, I, I tried to, Tried to get a fight with that better Derek guy, so I was back training. And yes. that, that, I would say that started and failed in the same day, really. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Could see that. Yeah. Could see that happening. Heated out quite quickly. Yeah, it doesn't really look like uh, 
he's a man for fist fighting. No, I don't. I think it might be a little <laughs> bit of an act, actually. Uh, I actually just felt a, really bad for him. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, you can see him shitting himself. Yeah, he was a little, a little young guy, so I was like, and also I also was like, oh, I think you might be it's ninety still, pounds. Like, imagine if some, imagine if like Nate bumped into him. You know, yeah. like if he's gonna shit himself like that. Like, oh, I think he, like I oh, went no. after the after the press conference. We went to Nate's hotel to interview Nate. And Nate sat down with us, looked at all the cameras, went, I don't want to do this, and then walked off. And then he came back about an hour later after he'd calmed down and... I don't want to use the same language that he used, but I would share with you that he was quite upset at the little the guy. He was very upset with him and said, there's a hundred men here and they'll all, they've all got green light to get him. And I was like, oh. And they, uh, they kept that, the Derek guy in his hotel room the whole next day. Like he wasn't allowed to get away in or anything like that. They like made him stay, stay in his fucking room. <laughs> so he didn't get, so he didn't get murdered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wicked. What do you, uh, what do you make of Israel Short? The vibe of the fight, everything. What do you um, reckon? Strickland, he just doesn't have the skill set for it. Like people are saying, oh, if you were coaching Strickland, like what? It just doesn't. It's just a bad. It's a bad stylistic matchup. It's a guy that. Overreacts or bites on everything. Overreacts to like everything against the guy who is drawing reactions out. Israel of anyone is the best at making a guy do what he yeah, wants yeah. him to do. Like yeah. the best puppet master. That's like the true secret to his power. And it's like versus the ultimate puppet. It's yeah. like <laughs> it's just a bad stylistic matchup. Like Sean's a great fighter. He can beat like he's definitely top five, top ten. Like he can beat a lot of tough guys. It's just like styles make fights and he just doesn't have yeah. yeah he's gonna be like it's not really a secret he'll just get his leg booted in he'll get his body <laughs> booted in and then he's gonna get kicked in the head it's not like yeah that's I'm, my and i'm just being honest yeah, like no, that's no. what i think I, and i don't I, no one could ever begrudge you your opinion dan <laughs> uh but i think i think it's like the the leg kick for me is obviously like sean's got a very sort of heavy boxing kind of base yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like well wait because people like say what they say about it. he hits hard bro like he kicks really he's got really heavy legs like yeah. he's a very very heavy kicker like all he has to do is like not be an idiot I mean, the best case scenario for Sean is he does a Yao Romero and he just stands there and does nothing and tries to just get a moral victory in five round defeat. Yeah. But I think if he just stands there and does nothing, like, is he leg kicked Yoel to death? And Yoel's a freak mutant made of cement, so it didn't really bother him. But after a while, like, Sean's legs, I feel like Izzy would just take him out. Like, he had leg kicked TK. Yeah, well, I didn't say he was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> the route, yeah. As any might yeah, survive. I, yeah. Yeah, it's a rough one. I think even, I don't know, Sean's an interesting guy. He's one of those guys that, like, for a long time was a bit I like, don't even think it, like, people, because people build it, the press conference is about to go down, obviously. Yeah, by the way, this is filmed before the press conference. That's why we haven't mentioned, like, dog fucking and Nazis yet. But, like, that. <laughs> We'll get there. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to happen. But nah, I don't know. Like he hasn't said anything like that outlandish since he's been here, or like that. Well, uh, he hasn't said. Well, me like knowing Israel, he hasn't said anything that's going to piss Israel off. Yeah, and I think. Or, also, or Israel hasn't thought about and has like an answer for. Like the whole Chinese thing. Yeah. Is like it's a it's a new point. New Zealand combat sports has deep roots in history with China. Like, the Philip Lamb, who's here, who was at our training session, he came over from China, was like, uh, did Kung Fu, and then started pretty much like teaching martial arts in New Zealand, and was bringing over Thai boxers and stuff like that, and was coach of Eugene's coach. So Lolo Himuli and all of our coaches. So our roots are in China. So for him to say that he's, oh, he's Chinese, he's Chinese, like, yeah, like, we're, <laughs> we owe, all of our success in martial arts back to China, so it's like, yeah. it's a bit of a mute point. Well, I also think because Sean doesn't hold on to his cards, right, it, as soon as he thinks it, he says it, yeah. it's like Israel knows everything he's going to say, so it's like, you've already heard it before it can really get in your face and bother you, do you know what I mean? But yeah. if Sean didn't say anything and then got to the press conference and was like, and he's fucking Asian, then it might be like, oh shit, but... <laughs> Not that yeah. being Asian's bad, but you know what I mean. I think uh, it's a kind of a 
I don't want to say it because you don't want to disrespect anyone, but it feels like a bit of a freebie for Israel, yeah, before they he gets on. But to in saying hand-tack. that, yeah. that is the that is the true danger. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like the that ultimately, like Israel never has to. Israel never has to work another day in his life. Like yeah. he walks away now, he never has to work another day in his life. Uh, everyone, he's fighting a guy. Everyone thinks he's gonna wipe the floor with. He's giving like no chance. That's like the true danger because if Strickland lands a punch, yeah, people are gonna be surprised. If Strickland puts up a fight and makes him work for it, people are gonna see, be surprised. So it, in saying that, like it, it kind of. The picture's painted like that, but that's where the danger lies. And it's, it would be so hard to be Israeli because, like, I would like, I like money from winning fights. Like, he doesn't really need it, you know what I mean? To get out of bed and to train your ass off every day, multiple times a day for Sean Strickland, must be, must have been very difficult. I saw, uh, I think on one of his freestyle bender video blogs, I think he came to training late. And there was just you right away being like, oh, it's hard in those silk sheets, isn't it? It's hard to get out of that bed, isn't it? Um, but yeah, could listen, I think Israel's a funny one, right? Where he could sort of be very disciplined, but also very under, like he has a wide range of like yeah, yeah. how much he puts in. But it feels like, you know, he knows that he, he knows that this is his event, right? And I feel like he's treating it as like a homecoming event. Yesterday with the open workout, he was like, I'm doing this for you guys, respect and all that. So I think he, there's that. Yeah, that was mad because uh, when, they, when we were actually at that fight, like I was there in 2019. Yeah. Like I was a co-main versus Ally Quinta. Like people did not like him then. Yeah, it's... And to see it now, like everyone loves him. Like yeah. he comes out to Australia and everyone's like, we're your biggest fans. But well, like, he was fighting Rob though. Yeah, yeah. But he, he was getting like booed. Yeah, like, yeah. We were getting booed. No, People were even like weird with me. Like I came to like open workout start and they were like, but he's mates of them. They're like, do we cheer? Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh. I remember, I was actually thinking about this the other day, Randy, because I think about you all the time. Uh, you, <laughs> you, got, uh, you were cheered in England against an English guy. They didn't yeah, boo yeah, you yeah, against yeah. Arnold Allen. Well, technically I'm English. That's... Oh, by, by the way, <laughs> I think is it today? Year, year anniversary of her passing. God save the God queen. God save the queen, mate. It's what she would have wanted. Um, it's what she would have wanted. That and Megan to die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Uh, I was officiant at a wedding recently. I wanted to share a story with you. I know I told you last night, but for the benefit of the viewer. Yeah, I want the I want the full I want the proper story. Yeah. And Harry and Judy, I am telling the, the full story. Uh, I was efficient at the wedding. I did a fantastic job. Everyone told me so. I was great. It brought people to tears. And then uh, I had to take Dad home because he had a drink. And then I came back, and then I started drinking pints of whiskey. Pints. Nice. It's a lot. Uh, it was quite fun, mate. And then I had a little cousin there, she's like 13. I put my arm around her, and then there's these two girls, quite attractive, blonde, and they immediately were on me, and one of them was like, she's 13, get your arms off her. And then the other one went, red flag central, like that to me. And I was a little confused. Just triggered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a little upset by that. I would be, yeah, yeah. yeah if, so I, I, if I was hugging my cousin and someone called me a pedophile, I'm pretty sure. That would set me off. Yeah. So I called them and then uh, I've sat down on a, a deck chair. It was by the sea. It was a beautiful yeah. venue. <laughs> I was sitting there next to a guy called Jeff, who's a lovely man. And uh, this girl was like, I'm going to go over there and talk to him. I'm gonna, she's going to set me straight. And then uh, the bride said, don't do that. And she ignored the bride. So ignore the bride on a wedding day. Says a lot about this woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She came over and she was like in my face and she was giving me the middle finger and I think I was just like, is she still being I'm not listening, what is she saying? And then I just escalated and then I, I told my, uh, my partner, I was like, I'm going to go spit in her face now and then it escalated, escalated. <laughs> Did you? I, honestly, this is such a, this is not a good look for me. I was like, stood there and she was like, do, you, shall we, do we need to leave? And I was like, just give me a second. And I sat there and I thought, I was like, should I do it? And I literally thought the process through, and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to be the bigger man. So he walked away. And I'm glad I did that, because then the next day I was the good guy. Whereas if I had 
gone yeah. over and, and it threatened to burn a house down as well. But that I was think like that's assault. Have you spit on someone? Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it's assault. Yeah, but she assaulted my Phoenix. Yeah, it's not that same thing. <laughs> She was telling to the cops, eh? She was mean to well, she me. She called me a fucking nonce. So. She flipped me off. Yeah, yeah. I haven't actually had some... They said that that's in, uh, when we're in Dubai, the boys at the gym, they run through like the do's and don'ts and they're just yeah. like flipping someone off. In um, Dubai, it's like the same, you get in the same trouble as if like I hit you. Oh, really? Yeah. I have to say, do you know what? Only thinking about it now. So he's like, if you're going to flip someone off, you may as well, as well hit him. <laughs> yeah, that's the answer. That's the answer. Okay, logic. But I feel like, I don't, I think it's been genuinely years since someone's done that to me and meant it. You don't really do that anymore. It's old school. Yeah. <laughs> Throwback. Yeah. But that was upsetting to me. I feel like that's. That's fears, fear. Well, I remember the next day I was talking to the bride, and she was like, she said she didn't, well, didn't appreciate you call her, calling her a cunt. And I said, well, I think being called a cunt is not as bad as being called a pedo. So, and you know, I don't, I don't fuck them if they're that young. So, <laughs> cut that out. Yeah, the old wedding. Hey, I did one. I did one where, where my cousin's wedding with my family. A good night, and then from the wedding venue. They had like a, like a shuttle back to where everyone was staying. And so I get in there and I was like in the back row, I think with my sister, or my sisters, and then my, some of my cousin's friends. And then my mum and the aunties were like in, in front of them. <laughs> and then anyway, we're like driving along and then the guy in front, he obviously had a few, few too many beers and he was like in a bit mouthy and he was swearing. And my mum hates swearing, like she doesn't. Does she watch this? I hope I get in a lot of trouble for this. Anyway, <laughs> she um, she turned around to the bloke and she goes, "Could you stop that sort of language?" Sir? And he goes, "The guy goes, and who the f if?" And I heard that and I just dove over behind him, chucked him in the rear naked. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> and then falls over. We all hop out, but you're winning. Did you uh, keep it in the family? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you uh, <laughs> did you get in trouble for that, or did they respect you standing up for your mum? I don't think word got out that far. Uh, it's been many years now. I remember I like uh, my mum. I feel like it's a terrible, it's a terrible it, tale. It, it's the statute of limitations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, remember, I don't feel like I'm going to get in trouble yeah. for it now. My uh, my mum and dad were in a pub uh, in Elam, this little fucking tiny village, and there was a short guy with glasses. And he was swearing, swearing, swearing. My dad didn't like him, and for some reason, my dad, my dad and I talked the way, like, fuck every sentence. And this, he, he turned and he went, can you stop swearing? There are women present. And my mum literally went, what? <laughs> Looked around for who he was talking about. <laughs> Just a pure excuse yeah. to get in the spot. That was actually the, that was the same house we lived in where uh, I got too drunk at a nightclub and fell asleep in the road. And they had to call my mom, yeah. In the middle of the room? In the middle, the car's going around me. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they had to call an ambulance for me. And uh, they called my mom to come get An me. ambulance? Yeah, yeah. They couldn't just drag you off? No, they called an ambulance because they were like, we need to pump his stomach. Um, I was 20. And uh, they called my mom at three in the morning. And she's a little old lady in a, in a dressing gown. And uh, I had a sticker that said, buy one shot, get one free. And the nurse was like, oh, had too many of those. And I went, ha, 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 fuck off to her. And it just like escalated and I had to get carried in by my dad. It was a whole thing. That's just kind of why that just came through there. Um, well, there you go. Who do you want to fight when you get back? Uh, nah, I don't care. You ju you're doing a Q&A with Gaethje on tomorrow. He has a title shot. Why would he fight me? It's fight Dustin again. I don't, I don't expect that. I don't think I would like, I would love that. I think that's a great fight. Which one? Well, obviously I would take both of them. These are two of the biggest names in the sport. They yeah. just fought for the BMF title. But obviously I would, that's like an incredible fight for me. But I can't, I don't expect Dustin, to, uh, I don't expect Gagey to fight me when he gets a title shot. Gagey obviously is a long shot. He's not stupid either. Like he's not a stupid guy. He's not going to fall for that. And then Dustin will be good, but I don't know. He's like, the guy's got millions of dollars in the bank. I would love that fight. That was a great fight. I'd yeah. love to run that. I'd love to run that back. 
But it's like... It would be the sort of fight... It's funny because... Does he want to go through a fight like that again? <laughs> yeah, well, it was, it was one of the best fights probably ever. But it was in front of no crowd. Yeah, yeah, I feel like... It would be good with a crowd. It would be good with a crowd. Not for my nerves, but it would be like... It's a good fight, like, mate, there's a lot of respect there. There's a lot of respect from, um, I have a lot of respect for Dustin. He's, the things I learned in that fight helped me win my last two fights. That's like, uh, you can tell like the difference. Like there's just some guys out there that are just cool, calm and collected. Like no matter what you hit them with, like they're not looking to go anywhere. And the things I learned, like that aspect and the like small things that Dustin was doing in the fight, I took as a learning expression from that, and it's the same in, like, uh, knee bar kid. Knee bar kid? Wrecked my knee. <laughs> Wrecked it. I had two fractures in my knee. My knee was fractured in two places, ruptured this, beat that. But it's like, I don't, it's already broken. Well, I may as well stand up. I'm like, I'm not going to tap out. It's too late. I remember uh, after that fight, you went back home, and I was like, how you doing? He's like, oh, yeah. Just went to the doctor about my leg. And he hadn't told me at all that it was hurting or anything. I was like, how is it? He went, it's fucked. <laughs> well, I was trying to fight like eight weeks, nine weeks after yeah, that. Yeah. So I don't want to say it was fractured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember you mentioned. But then I went and saw the specialist. So everyone like just read the MRI report. It goes like, it's two fractures, blah, blah, blah. So everyone's saying, don't, don't do this, don't do that. Don't lift weights, don't, you know, you can't do this. Yeah. And don't I'm be a normal healthy adult. I was going, it doesn't feel that bad. I was like, yeah. it's the knee, like, it feels all right. When it's all a specialist, and he's like, nah, nah, you're all right. He goes, your bones, like, it just extended, and then they just, like, rub together. He goes, it's not, he's like, think you got your wall. He goes, you got a couple dents in your gym. He goes, but your wall's all right. Okay. And I was like, this is my guy. <laughs> the walls. The walls. I told Ash, my manager, and he's like, I don't believe that that's what he said. <laughs> I can imagine. The he walls, said that, fine. Yeah, he goes, Couple dents in the gym. <laughs> my walls. My walls, fine. Sound. Yeah. I think it, they are. Uh... Oh, you told me that. <laughs> oh, fuck, I just dumped you in it. You made up <laughs> the Auckland event. Did you just make that up? Yeah, I just made that up. <laughs> But it might, you know. <laughs> Do you know how many everyone's, everyone's be going, they're coming to Auckland next year and I'm like, I, I actually just made that up. I didn't hear anything. No one told me anything. I just said it and then I don't know. At Media Day, I knew about four different lads being asked, so apparently there's rumors they're coming to Auckland next year. Would you like that? That's hilarious. You started that. I think you started that with me. I think we did pubs. Yeah, I do that all the time. I just say the stuff. Same stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, this would be cool, you know? Do you think, I don't know how, finger on the Shout pump. out to three monkeys. Yeah. Three wise monkeys. Good bar. It's not bad, actually. My Sydney, point. CBD. Anyway, like, where are we going? You know what's funny is we've done this at a few different venues and two of them have specifically asked, said like, yes, you can do it here if you give us a shout out. And we forgot, forgot both yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. This place, we just we walked just in walked and we gave them a shout out. I feel like this is a bit of style. Yeah. It's like a, like, you know, yeah. grunge. Just walk in, put the camera down, yeah. start having a chat. And see what happens. And see what happens. Well, Vegas is Security, always great. Free Wise Monkeys. Not great. Not great. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, not gonna, not gonna lie. Security's not top notch here. But, but I did get. It's a good thing at the pub. I, I did get served quite quickly though, and I would like to get served again actually. Can I be pissed at this press conference? Two beers isn't pissed. I just realised press conference is quite soon actually. It's four o'clock. No. I don't know who we were talking. I don't know what Oh. Well, we're doing another, it's not like this is the only pub talk. Yeah, yeah. We are doing a New Zealand pub talk. I'm flying because Oscar is coming to my hometown and I'm going to show him around. We're going to show him the ropes. We're going to do a New Zealand pub talk. Yes. Bars, send in your applications. That would be fun. No, I'm just going to go, we'll just go to a local pub. Yeah. We'll do what this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I actually am. Like, I've never been to New Zealand. We'll go to my local. I'm not, I'm not telling anyone where that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. The DMs you sent me about what we're going to get up to scared me a little bit, but that's fine. <laughs> that's between us. Prepare yourself. Prepare, Prepare my yourself. body and my mind. That's okay. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Nah, it'll be cool. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, Thank you very much for having me.
Is this our way of winding down? No, well, I'll, we'll do this one now and then... Oh, fuck, I'm hyped for it. And actually, I want to say thank you to the, to the fans. Well, <laughs> <laughs> How cinnamon was this? Yeah. Thank you to the fans. Well, because like, whenever I come to Australia, like, yeah, the amount of DMs I get is like... It. You gotta do pub talk. Like my comments are pub talk, pub talk, pub talk. Here's your fucking. We had the bloke sitting across us. You, got, you guys got off to do pub talk. We're like, yeah, 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 yeah. do pub talk. And I understand that like sometimes people want to come watch it, but like it's just a bit of a gamble because I get very excited sometimes, and I say things that you can't really yeah, put back yeah. in a box. I feel like this one's been quite. No, this one's fine. I maybe did some. We've been edited. 90% of what we said out. Usually post fight, those are the bad ones. Yeah. Lots. The old after party doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't get. We actually, my friend now lives in Sydney. I'm actually talking to the camera like there's someone there. Uh, my one of the fans. <laughs> it. My, my friend lives in Sydney and he came to a pub talk in Vegas. <laughs> um, and he and I hadn't gone to bed. And he fucking curled up under the table we were doing it and slept in a little ball under yeah. the table. And then he got up and tried to fuck the wait the barmaid actually. His fiance probably doesn't eat not fiance. Back in business. Yeah. yeah. You might edit that one out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. 